welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. If this is your first time, welcome. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I wanted to do a fun look for you guys. This is more of a girly spring color. And it was an inspiration that I found here on Instagram. And I wanted to recreate this look using the color palettes that I have and my lipstick. But it was very similar to the one I saw on Instagram. Same color lips, same colors in the eye, in the in the eyes but tad different shades so it's like very minimum of different shades because of course we don't have the same eyeshadow palette so but the idea is exactly the same so I just wanted to go ahead and recreate it for you because I think this is a great color for the spring and it's very girly it is very fun and very colorful you can always trade it in for a neutral this is my preference to so have the bow lip and I think that it just makes the eye pop even more what is this? Sorry. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Keep on watching my videos. I'm having fun creating this looks for you and this is a journey that is new to me. So I hope that together we can grow. I wanted to also let you guys know that I did cut my hair. I don't know if anyone noticed but I did get it cut today which is Saturday and which is when I'm filming this. You're probably going to see this on Monday. So it'll be a couple of days later. But I just wanted to share this with you because um, I enjoy doing my hair. I actually did it myself here at home. So I hope that that's an inspiration for you guys. If you want to cut your own hair, I hope it's an inspiration that you can also do that. But if you want to see how I created this look for you guys, just keep on watching. Bye. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now I am going to go ahead and set my concealer on my eyes with a transition shade. I am going to be using a Profusion palette as one of my transition shades. So I will be using this shade right here as my transition shade. This transition shade is like a, like a sandy color. It kind of looks like clay and it's just very neutral, very cool tone. And it's, it's just very matte. I like this as my transition shade because it is a like a blank canvas. This is actually a very nice shade. Like I would just leave this on a regular day and put some, a little bit of brown or gray or even black like in the corners here. And with a wing line and some mascara and you're good to go. I might try that next time. So I am going to be using the Ultimate Blockbuster Palette by Profusion for this look. I will be spraying my brush with some facial spray just to go ahead and get that foil look on my eyes. And I hope if you don't have any spray like Fix Plus or like the facial spray that I'm going to use, you can use eye drops. Just make sure that you have the eyeshadow already on the brush so you don't mess up your brush when you add the eye drops, okay? Because I did that and I messed up some eyeshadows, but I think I recovered just a bit. So for my upper crease, I am going to start with this color right here. And this one, I am not going to have it as a foil. I'm just going to have it as a natural shade. Now, this eyeshadow does take a while to build up, so just be patient. And so if you have eye cream shadows or sheer Shadows like these, they do take a while to build up, so just be patient and just blend away. But be patient because it will take a while, so just keep blending and adding more colors and just go slowly so that you don't overdo it. So for my next eyeshadow, I am going to use the other Perfusion palette that I started out with my blending transition shade. And I'm going to go ahead with this brown right here, and that's just going to go a little bit under the color that I currently have. The reason why I'm adding this extra brown into the eye is because I would like to create some depth in my eye look. So I just want to add that extra pop of color. This color that I'm adding, you want to add it right over the eyelid. 
and not go into the eyelid. Make sure you blend really well so that way you don't have any harsh lines. So now I am going to go back into this eye palette and start on my eyelid. To spray my brush and create a foil look on my eyelid, I will be using my Facial Spray by Mario Badescu. And this will give it a nice sheen so that it looks like a foil color. I will be using my cream eyeshadow brushes from Mary Kay and the other one is from Ulta. So I'm going to begin with this color right here which is like a lilac purple. Hey guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and I took advantage and did my mascara and my concealer because today I'm not going to wear a foundation. I'm going to use a powder foundation. I want it to be just light and I don't want to have the heaviness of the liquid foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead with my powder foundation and some lipstick and contour. So I will be using my Clinique powder foundation to cover my facial today. So I'm going to go ahead and do some contouring with my uh, with the Wet n Wild palette in Caramel Toffee. I'm going to set my concealer with the white powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face with the Heart Candy Tiki. Alright, so now that I've done all my face and face, so I am going to go ahead and use my liquid lipstick from ColourPop in the color Mars to go with this look. You can go ahead and do a neutral lip if you like. You could do a neutral lip or a lip gloss, but I wanted to have this color on my lip and to match my eye. So it's really good for the spring and it's very colorful and that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color. This completes the look on this Inspire makeup look that I found here on Instagram. And I hope you guys like it. I had so much fun creating this look. It is so girly. It is perfect for the spring. It is very... Um, I don't know a lot of words to say. <laughs> okay, I hope you can create it. If you could create it, go ahead and take a picture and send it to me. Post it, post it at my, post it in the comment below so I can see how you did your look and any inspiration that you would like to see from me. Please also let me know. Give it a thumbs up for this video if you enjoy watching me and subscribe to my channel. Bye to the next one.